Hi guys, I am here at Cottage Clippings and I'm working on a little project that I thought you might be interested in and I was going to save this for Minutes with Michelle on Wednesday but I need to do this and I need to get it done and so here it goes. I am consolidating all of my makeup palettes into one carrying case. So if you have a lot of makeup at home and you have eyeshadows, powders, bronzers, blushes, this would be a really good thing for you to do. So when you go on vacation, you could take your one little palette with you and be set. So here's how you do it. First you need a, mag a magnetic board. Then you're going to take your makeup and you're just going to flip it upside down and lay a towel over it and I have my iron on high heat and I'm going to iron the back of my shadow like this. Let me grab this knife and I have probably three of these already made. They're great for me to travel if I'm doing a wedding or, or some type of event that requires me to take all this with me. So once you do that, you can put the knife in there. Whoops. Hold on a second. I feel like I didn't get it loose enough. There we go. See how that pops out? And then it should stick because they're all metal, so it will stick to your palette. This is a really, really great way to clean out your makeup drawer. But see, these all come apart. And you can organize all your colors. Isn't that great? You like that? Really, really, really cool. Again, you want to use a towel, lay the towel over. All you're doing is loosening the glue with your iron. Some people use a flat iron and run the flat iron over. I prefer using this. So I hope this helps you clean out and when you're doing your spring cleaning at home. And so one other thing I want to share with you is Wednesday, we're going to have Minutes with Michelle. Every Wednesday at 9 o'clock is Minutes with Michelle. Matt Tremoni, Matt meaning... Matte colors. See those colors? These are the colors our age that you sh that we all should be wearing. The 30 and up, they're just matte shades. There is no glitter. There's no frost. Um, this will, when you wear the frosty colors, it brings out the fine lines and wrinkles. So this does not do that. I'm going to share with you how to use this palette on Wednesday. So I'm going to have my eyes prepped and ready to go for these colors, even these really, really bright colors. If you would like to join in and practice this with me, you're going to need three different brushes. You'll want a bigger shadow brush, a medium, and a small. So if you want to gather those three things, gather three of your favorite color shadows, pull some fun colors that you have been wanting to use but you're not using because you're a little bit afraid to use it, go ahead and grab them because I'm going to share with you how to make it really look pretty and tastefully done. So stay tuned for Wednesday at 9 o'clock and like and share this video like always. And people that share, I do do drawings. Once we get 10 shares, I'll throw you a surprise in the mail or I will hand deliver it to you. So thank you very much and have a great night. Bye.